Here's a look at the stories making news at this hour. I'm Erin Kennedy. An explosion at a FedEx facility outside San Antonio may be linked to four bombings in Austin, Texas this month. As Omar Villafranca reports, one FedEx worker suffered minor injuries when a package exploded at a sorting center. Authorities responded to a hazmat situation at a FedEx facility in Austin Tuesday morning, hours after a package bomb exploded overnight at another FedEx facility in Schertz, Texas, just outside of San Antonio. A package had been traveling along the automated conveyor when it had, had exploded. The FBI says it's more than possible that the explosion in Schertz is linked to the recent bombings in Austin this month. A law enforcement source tells CBS News the package at the FedEx facility in Schertz was mailed from Austin and was being sent to Austin. If you have a package that was not expected, if you are suspicious of the return address, do not touch it, do not move it, but contact 911. Four explosions in Texas' state capital this month have killed two people and injured four others. The latest was Sunday night. A tripwire was used to set off the bomb. You can hear Sunday's bomb detonate in this home security video. We want all video because we would look for similarities, we would look for connections, we would look for anything that might lead us to identifying the suspect or suspects. If law enforcement agents are able to link the FedEx bombing with the four bombings in Austin, it would mark the first time that the suspected bomber is using a delivery service to try to mail one of the bombs. The first three in Austin were hand delivered onto porches and the fourth one used a tripwire, which means the bomber's methods could be changing. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Shirts, Texas. Polls are open for the primary elections in Illinois today, and our Dorothy Tucker has been out talking to voters. There is a real energy here at O'Keefe Elementary. There are four precincts in this gymnasium. We've got one here, one back there. There's another one over here, one at the door. And the poll workers tell me that it's really been busy all morning. There have constantly been people who are behind, who are casting their votes. And then there are people who are standing in line, getting ready to cast their vote. They've been coming and going all morning long. And what's interesting, I, I took a quick poll and I just kind of went around to see how many people had come in. Almost 300 people so far since this particular place open, which the poll workers tell me is a pretty good turnout. And finally, here's meteorologist Megan Glaros with a look at your forecast. Spring officially started at 1115 and you know what? It doesn't feel like it. This is the coldest day of the week. We have 38 degrees and that is the high temperature today on this first day of spring. Moving into Wednesday, 39 degrees. So still a little bit on the chilly side, obviously, but we do hit the mid forties again, rolling into Thursday and Friday. And we do have just one, really one chance of some precip and that's a rain snow mix that could happen for us overnight Friday going into early Saturday. Other than that, we're really pretty sunny and fairly decent, albeit a little on the cool side side, but definitely today on this first day of spring, a little cooler than average. Make sure to grab your big coat, but the vernal equinox, pretty much equal day and night for us now. Enjoy guys.